Hello everyone, this is Madhusudan Raj, your host. Today is 21st May 2015. Well, after a long period of time, I am again here with my economic report because something important is happening. Uh, uh, the Modi government has announced uh, they have launched new scheme of uh, gold monetization. So I just want to discuss uh, about this scheme very quickly into this economic report. Uh, what I will do is I have divided uh, my discussion into two parts. First I will talk about this scheme, what this scheme is all about and then I will discuss about, uh, I will analyze what the scheme is all about and I'll discuss a little bit about uh, gold. Uh, I think it's quite, you know, uh, redundant in uh, in a culture like India to discuss what gold is because I'm sure most of the people know what gold is and why gold is important. But in any case, uh, mainstream financial media and the government economists and other I know state officials are trying to demonize gold and they are trying to portray a different picture. They are, they are trying to hide the you know facts about gold from the people they're trying to misguide them basically so it is my duty to tell people the truth about the gold the facts about the gold although i know that most of the indian uh, intuitively understand because that knowledge is part of their you know culture or what we call in biology it's it's in the meme any case let's talk about this scheme first so we know that since long the Indian government has waged a war uh, against gold because <clears throat> they say that it increases their import bill. After oil import bill, gold's import is the second highest in the country. First is oil import and the second one is gold. And they say that that, that creates the trade imbalances and that widens the trade deficit and that can put the government into trouble. That of course is a lie and I don't want to go into the issues of trade deficit and whether those deficits are really significant or you know are very important uh, as the government is saying or dangerous for example. What I want to you know you know say is that they are worried about this gold consumption in India and that's why they somehow want to stop the import of gold and for that they are thinking that somehow if they can tap the uh, domestic gold supplies if they can recycle the locally you know privately held gold into the economy then then that can reduce the import and that can reduce the trade deficit you know etc etc so you know one figure you know is saying that there is more than 20,000 tons of gold privately held by the Indians so what the government is trying to do is that they try to kind of bring it back into supply this gold is lying into you know bank walls and people's home and in the temple you know uh, treasuries etc places so they think that that gold which is lying idle is not good for the economy which is not true that gold is not lying idle over there as you will see that 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 gold which is lying in people's you know houses and bank walls and in temple treasuries has an important role of you know, people are trying to control the uncertain future uh, by holding gold into their hands. So it is not idle. It is not like it has no function that gold which you are holding in your hand right now. It has a definite function of uh, having some kind of control over the future uncertainties which the government itself is creating. Government and the central bank itself is creating uh, through their, you know, lunatic, loose monetary policy as well as you know, uh, fiscal um, extravagant fiscal fiscal policies, spending a lot of money that is creating inflation and structural imbalances, and amidst all these uncertainties, people are trying to secure their future by keeping gold into their hand. Anyway, so you know, as I said, the government is thinking that if somehow they can bring that into the market again, so for that they have launched this gold monetization scheme. Uh, so I'm just going to read from this Reuters news. A proposal in India to attract thousands of tons of gold owned by household into the bank deposit scheme. Right. So what is government is trying to do is that that the scheme is like you. It's it's I think it's around 
30, 30 gram or 3 gram up to 30 gram I think you can put in the bank as a deposit and the bank is supposedly going to pay you interest rate on this gold deposits you know which you are going to have with your bank uh, right now uh, what interest rate they are going to pay you we don't know I think the numbers which are coming up like for example in this news they are saying that they are likely to pay you the interest rate of something like 2 to 3 percent per annum uh, which is absolutely ridiculous right even savings accounts you know will you know, give you 4% of interest rate so uh, they are going to pay you 2-3% of interest rate if you deposit let's say 30 gram of your gold in bag the most important thing is and, and what is going to happen with that gold later on that is the most important thing uh, for you and me to understand because once you put your goal in the bank what is going to happen what is going to happen is this and this is in their own words so banks would be allowed to treat the deposit as part of the reserve so once you put your goal in the bank it becomes the property okay so you lose the property title of your goal it is their reserve boosting their balance sheet so it boosts their balance sheet and now what happens is very important and uh, dangerous, you know, the reason why you should not be putting your goal in the banks, you know, you should not be participating into this scheme. In turn, the metal would be refined and sold to meet demand in the world's top consumer, reducing the country's need for imports. So what is going to happen is that when you take your goal and put that goal in the bank, now bank will treat that as it's their reserves, their deposit, their property, they will melt it, refine it, and then sell it into the market. So basically your gold is your your gold is gone. Right? Now now imagine if they're going to sell your gold to somebody else and definitely that gold is not coming back. Now suppose you want your gold back, you go to the bank and you ask you know, to give your gold back, they'll have no gold in their wants because they've refined it, you know, melted it and they've, you know, sold it to somebody else. So you're going to lose the property of your, you're going to lose your gold basically, right? So this, this scheme is basically not a scheme, it's a scam, right? Uh, they are saying that they want to recycle it, but, you know, uh, they're not going to recycle, they're going to sell it to somebody else and then the gold is gone forever it's not gonna come in your hand but the most important thing uh, what they're saying is that uh, you put your gold in the bank and they'll pay you cash you know interest rate on that now that defeats the whole idea it's, the whole idea is very stupid see the reason is let's discuss as i said my first part is over man the scheme is all about this they're gonna take your gold and sell it to somebody else so that's it so you're gonna lose the property of your gold the second part is what is gold Right? They are saying that just an asset and one, you know, uh, kind of people use it for ornament and this and that. But all, all that is smoke and mirror. Gold is nothing but money. Right? Gold, you know, has played the commodity. It's a commodity money. It has played the role of money in human culture since last 6,000 years. And if you see the history of gold, like 6,000 years recorded history, then these three metals, what we call precious metals, uh, two are precious metals, another one is industrial metal, they have mostly worked, you know, function as money. Money is nothing but a common medium of exchange, which basically, you know, uh, you know solves the problem of barter system, total coincidence of want and indivisibility problem. So, uh, precious metals, gold and silver, and as I said, the industrial metal, copper. This is what human beings have, when, whenever they were, they were allowed to freely choose, they have always chose gold, silver, and copper as money, as a common medium of exchange. So gold is, remember, it's not a financial asset. It's not an investment vehicle. It's money right so right now that means the whole idea of monetizing goal is I think uh, it's 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 stupid right gold itself is money so how we are going to monetize gold the only way in which right now we are going to monetize gold is by officially declaring gold as money that means going back to the you know pure gold standard with 100% reserve banking 
So if you do that, then that's real monetization of money. It means bringing the you know role of gold as money back again in the system. Right now, they are putting taxes and everything on gold, and they have outlawed them, legal tender laws, and that's the reason why people you know use the paper currency. The paper not rupee is not money; it's just a currency. Once upon a time, that currency note was backed by solid, you know, unit weight of silver or gold. In India, it was a silver standard, so the currency note was basically backed by unit weight of silver. So it was just the name of that underlying unit weight of gold or silver. So they have removed the gold and silver content from the backing, and only the paper note is now circulates as money. It's not money; it's currency. So basically, to See, the reason why people are buying gold is because they are worrying about the, the value in rupee. They are worrying about the reducing purchasing power of rupee day by day, inflation. Okay, so that's the reason why they are buying gold because gold is going to track inflation. It's going to keep your purchasing power pretty much stable for a very long period of time. As I said, it's a 6,000 year old history. Gold will keep your purchasing power stable and safe. So that's the reason why people are buying gold. They are parting away with their paper currency notes and you know, in exchange of that they are buying gold because they know that, that gold is going to safeguard their future. Suppose there is a currency crisis, suppose the monetary system is going to collapse, then in, during those you know, dangerous times gold will be the only you know, last resort. Gold is working as an insurance policy. It's not investment, remember. Okay, if you definitely if you buy gold, then it's going to track inflation. And you know, if you do some kind of you know study last 10 15 years, then it's going to give you 12 13 percent of real returns. Also, I'm not talking about that right now. So, even if you compare that 12 13 percent of real interest return, then these banks are going to give you 2 3 percent of interest rate, which is nothing. Inflation is itself running into 10 you know percent double digit. So the real rate of return is not going to be there. So even from the investment perspective, it's 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 stupid to put your gold into banks. But as I said, gold itself is money. So the whole idea of monetizing gold is absolutely nonsense. People are buying gold because they don't like to keep cash, currency, notes in their hand because it's reduce, losing its purchasing power. So again, why why the heck people are going to exchange their precious gold with with you know some kind of cash currency notes again doesn't make any sense it only shows that government is desperate and remember gold is also connected with your freedom right gold you know it gives you freedom when you when you buy gold it gives you freedom because it's money you can you know exchange it for transaction purposes nobody will know nobody can trust and I'm not saying that you don't want you know you, you want to hide your transaction because you're doing something wrong. Not necessarily. Privacy is a is a is a good thing in its own right. You don't you don't have to be you know some criminal to hide something, right? You don't want to tell everybody what you're doing in your bedroom, right? But that doesn't mean that what you're doing in your bedroom is something wrong. It's a privacy matter. Right? So the whole idea that government you know, is basically talking about. So what I'm saying is uh, if you buy gold, you are also going to you know, win your freedom and that is a vote against the government's inflationary policies. So instead of putting their own house you know, into, into proper order and instead of stopping you know, inflating the currency and devaluing the currency, uh, they are trying to attack us. But it shows that gold is very important, it's money. So I think ultimately you should not get fooled by this so-called monetizing gold scheme. Just stay away from any kind of paper promises, which is what you know currency note is. It's just a promise from the central bank, which they are not fooled with. Gold is the ultimate money. It's a market chosen money, and that is your insurance policy. Buy it, hold it for a long term. It's gonna safeguard your future. The reason why people buy gold is because they are worried about the future uncertainties, uncertainties and they want to have some control over that. That's why they are buying gold. So there is no, you know, there is no, there is no point in again converting your gold into cash. So just stay away from that. That is what is, you know, my personal suggestion. And uh, with that note, I'm just going to end this, you know, economic report. I will come back with more next time thank you very much for watching goodbye